Imagine launching into space for what you thought would be a short, thrilling adventure, only to find yourself on an unexpected, extended mission lasting over nine months. This is the real-life saga of NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams, whose journey aboard the International Space Station quickly turned into a story that reads like a high-stakes thriller. We miss, right, of course, you know, the things that we always miss, our families. I miss my two dogs. I miss my friends. Originally set to spend a mere 10 days orbiting above Earth, a series of technical glitches transformed their mission into an unprecedented, drawn-out stay in space. One ignition and liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V, carrying two American heroes. Shortly after launching aboard Boeing's Starliner in June 2024, Wilmore and Williams were scheduled to test the spacecraft's capabilities, a mission meant to prove the reliability of a new era in space travel. But as fate would have it, the Starliner encountered severe technical issues. Helium leaks, malfunctioning thrusters, and other unexpected anomalies forced mission control to make a difficult decision. The spacecraft was too risky for the astronauts to use for their return. After three months of being stuck in space, Boeing Starliner capsule is undocking from the International Space Station. Overnight, what was meant to be a brief test flight spiraled into an uncertain waiting game. With the original return vehicle grounded, NASA was left scrambling for an alternative solution. Enter SpaceX's Crew Dragon, a proven workhorse of human spaceflight. However, even this rescue plan wasn't without its complications. A technical snag involving a hydraulic clamp arm at the launch pad delayed the Crew-10 mission, the very flight that was supposed to bring new astronauts to the ISS and set the stage for Wilmore and Williams's return home. SpaceX rescue mission to bring back the two stranded astronauts has been called off. As the clock ticked on, the astronauts found themselves stuck in a limbo where every day stretched into a test of endurance and adaptability. Adding another layer of intrigue, high-profile figures like President Donald Trump and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk ignited a firestorm of controversy by claiming that political decisions were at the heart of the delay. They left them alone. Biden left them up there. Musk argued that his own offer to expedite their return was blocked for political reasons. They were left up there for political reasons, which is not good. A claim that only added to the confusion and speculation. Yet, both Wilmore and Williams have consistently maintained that their extended stay is a result of careful planning for unforeseen contingencies, a testament to the rigorous safety protocols that govern human spaceflight. Their measured professional stance stands in stark contrast to the dramatic headlines and social media debates that have come to define their ordeal. Do you feel abandoned up there, Commander? No, I, I don't think those words are quite accurate. While the media has sensationalized the idea of stranded astronauts, the reality on board the ISS is far more complex. Wilmore and Williams have turned their enforced sabbatical into a productive period of scientific research and station maintenance. They've conducted experiments that could lead to breakthroughs in medical treatments and contributed to the ongoing exploration of space technology, all while keeping in touch with their families far below. Every day, they look out at a breathtaking view of Earth, a constant reminder of both the beauty and the isolation of life in orbit. Now, with the Crew-10 mission finally scheduled to launch and a new plan taking shape, the world watches with bated breath. Will the long wait finally come to an end? And what will their return mean for the future of space exploration? In this unfolding drama of technology, politics, and human resilience, one thing is certain, Sometimes, the path to the stars is as unpredictable as it is inspiring. I can only say that Mr. Musk, what he says is absolutely factual. 